Priya, you've been an inspiration to all of us. And I'm so glad that you're here to share some thoughts with us today. As the biomedical engineer in Arizona, coming back to Chennai, and now known as the fabulous tiger painter of India. Tell us the story. Hi, Rathani. Hello. As a child, I've always been happy, carefree, and uh, well protected by my parents. They threw their cocoon around me all the time. And uh, biomedical engineering in the United States was a beautiful journey by itself. And uh, there was a time when I did come back for a vacation. I remember that so clearly. That was the time you had to break the shackles of cancer and come out a winner. Tell us how you did that. That was possibly the toughest phase of my life, or so I thought of it to be. I had two options. I could completely freak out and uh, cry my heart out, get the sympathy of everybody around me and make this entire world mine in not the best of ways. But the sec and the second option was to stay calm and uh, pick up a passion and move forward and build a world around myself. I chose the latter. Uh, I decided to pick my passion in the form of art. I, uh, art has been a stress buster for me right from my childhood days, and uh, it has been it has given me immense strength, and uh, it has built my world around me. How did you pick the tiger? The tiger, the eyes of the tiger. That was the first thing that came to my mind, in, or comes to my mind even today when I talk about the animal and my art. The eye of the tiger is so powerful. It is. Um, it shows a lot of strength. It shows a lot of courage. It shows a lot of calmness. Believe me, it shows a lot of calmness. And uh, every time I paint, the first thing I do is get the eyes of the tiger right. And only when I get the eyes right do I know exactly what I'm expressing through my art form. And then the rest of the body comes in. I remember you made a whole exhibition with all the tigers. Anil Kukle came and inaugurated the exhibition and you gave away all the proceeds for charity. How did you know that you would become that level of an artist? Well, sometimes a hobby can become a passion. And when you choose and pick and choose your passion, then do it with a lot of discipline have a lot of self-belief and then you realize that your passion is actually your dream and that lets you build a beautiful world around you and you can grow in that world and get more people around you and inspire them, move forward and build something completely unique and different. So, thank you so much Aishwarya and I look forward to seeing many, many eyes of the tiger via your hands. Thank you. We thank you for your support of our women empowerment work. Do stay in touch with us.